Hey everybody, welcome back to another Sand 2 video. Um, in this video, we're basically going to be talking about my personal Cura settings that I use to do my 3D printing. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people had um, shown concern about um, what settings I use and what I do because I don't really show a lot of my prints. I show uh, procedures and how to do things, but not and end result so uh in this one i'm going to show you guys how i do it what i use what settings i use and how the end print comes out okay so with that said let's go and jump right into kira uh, this is something that i'm printing at the moment um i thought about it after i changed all the settings but this is basically a hilt from a sword from the destiny game called bolt caster it was my very first sword that I got in the game, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to mount it on the wall. Uh, once it's done printing, it's roughly going to be around four feet tall. So I'm very excited. This is my sixth piece on that. But <clears throat> anyways, moving along. Going over quality, I got layer height. I want a little bit more detail, so I left it at 0.15. Normally, I print things at 2. Uh, but I toned it down a little bit just to give it that little bit finer detail now keep in mind guys when you bring this down The lower the number the longer it's gonna take so for example, I'm at 20 hours just for this piece right here so if I change this to a 2 That does cut my time by roughly a quarter and it should be around 16 or 17 or around there <clears throat> So while that's loading, uh, initial layer height, I do it 0.3, top and bottom width, I have it at 4, support line width, I have it at 3. Uh, now keep in mind, some of these are advanced setting features, and you can always access that by clicking on this little gyro looking thing here, and just select what you want, and it'll add it on, okay? Let me close that. <clears throat> I'm not going to spend too much time on this in detail because following this video, I am going to go over every custom settings in Cura uh, 2.4 version and higher. So this way you guys will have a better understanding. So for right now, I'm just going to briefly go over it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> before we get to shell, if you notice, because I changed it to a 0.2 from a 0.15 it cut the time down by roughly roughly five hours if you want to say so let me go and change this back because I am going to turn it into a G code so I don't want to mess with it too much as far as shell uh, wall thickness I leave it at 0.2 top bottom it's at 8 <clears throat> For this particular one, top bottom pattern, I left them both at lines. Alternative exterior wall, this I used in the previous print, and this one I didn't use it, so it's not checked off. Fill in gaps between walls, of course, everywhere. <clears throat> Ignore small Z gaps. Uh, you always want to have that checked off. Infill, density, I, because it's the hilt of the sword, I wanted it to be a little bit stronger, more durable, so I did it at 55. That's another reason why this number, as far as the time, is a little higher. Infill pattern, I usually go with triangles, I don't know why. Infill layer thickness, I went with 0.3. Um, this actually, I'm going to go ahead and go 4. Oh, I can't do that because of what I put here. Now if I change this to a 4, that little mustard colored or yellow over here should go away. But because I did 3 there, I'm going to do 3 here. Uh, material, uh, printing temperature, of course guys, refer to your manufacturer settings for this. Um, mine is between 180 and 210. I noticed 205 for this particular brand of filament works pretty well. <clears throat> Build plate temperature, I leave it at 60. Uh, diameter, you don't have to mess with. Flow, um, I leave it at 100. Sometimes, based on 
what filament or what settings you have or what printer you have you might need to increase this by a little bit or decrease it by a little bit uh, enable retraction of course you always want to have that on you don't want stringing on your 3d print retract that layer change that's always got to be checked off so basically what it's still saying is when it does one line and it goes up to do the other line it sucks the filament in a little bit or actually takes the pressure off of it so this way there's no stringing along the way uh, retraction distance 3.5 retraction speed 25 uh, actual speed itself print speed I left at a 55 and fill speed I don't really care about the inside because that's really not going to show so I put that at 80 sometimes I do change that to 100 <clears throat> wall speed is at 30 because I want a little bit more finer detail here um, support speed 55 actually I can turn that up to 80 as well travel speed that's basically when it's going like if it travels from here to here then it travels over there or basically how fast your nozzle moves between the prints initial layer speed 30 what that means is when it starts off at the bottom down here how fast do you want it to go I always like to do go slower and thicker at the bottom most of the time for this one um, I left it at 0.3 instead of 0.4 which I normally leave it at so <clears throat> you can always go one higher than your nozzle size which is kinda cool uh, cooling of course I want the fan on cool the filament the right way but initial fan speed I put it at zero because I want my filament to stick to the bed better and not to cool too fast uh, generate support of course and this one I put everywhere but if you'll notice there's really not much here Let me change this for you guys so if you notice right here this is the only place the supports gonna be right right there is where I'm gonna need that support so that's the only place it has it and I knew I was gonna need more than that so I just put everywhere normally um, actually I should just put touching the bed but anyways <clears throat> support pattern I put uh, triangles support density I only did five the reason I did five is because it prints this but it does it at a very well basically the reason I do it at five or under ten all the time is because the support is easier to rip off that way and I don't have to sit there for hours trying to take the support off uh, support line distance 18 support seizes distance 0.1 x and y 0.7 minimal support distance is 0.2 okay um, guys always do a brim a skirt if you're good sometimes um, I do a skirt and let's go back to regular view so I can show you what I'm talking about Normally when I do skirts sometimes and the printer starts here, the nozzle goes all the way around and it takes a little bit for the filament to come out. So I do brim every time because it gives it about six, five or six times before it actually gets to your print. Therefore the filament is flowing perfectly. There's no missing or gaps or anything like that on there. And the brim width is eight. And that's basically it. These things you're not really going to use now these settings guys about 90 percent of this i use all the time there's a few things i took out uh, there's a few things i add on depending on what i'm printing and again if you just want to do that you just click on this little gyro and you just go ahead and pick whatever else you want but for this particular print this is what i'm using and 80 percent of the stuff in here is what i use every time now I don't use these exact settings for every print but this is my I guess you can say start off point 
So every time this will be there, and I'll maybe take one or two things out and add like one or two things. Uh, if it's a really detailed print, then maybe I'll add a few more items. But this is what my basic start off is. Just like Kira has their um, basic settings for for these right here. Um, I have my basic settings, which are these that I start off with, and then go from there and see how it works. Now, keep in mind, the more features you have, and the more you modify, the higher the chance that you can mess something up. Okay, if you don't know, uh, let's say for example, what can we go over? Let's say the retraction speed, right here. You have, you have uh, retraction enabled, but you change the speed to 80, or the distance, you change it to like 20, and uh, you have your speed, print speed itself, at like 60 or something. Uh, what's going to end up happening is you're going to get a lot of stringing. So the more features you add, um, the not more likely to have a problem, but there's more chances of things occurring that normally wouldn't. Um, besides that, keep in mind the lower layer height you go with, the longer it's going to take. Good prints always take a long time. Um, if you want to print fast, if it's just cause, I mean, if you're not worried about cosmetic, then you can just pick a high speed and high layer height and you can go from there alright guys so here is the end result of what we saw in Kira um, this is the hilt of the sword that I was talking about so you can see right there uh, with all the settings that I had on there if you take a look I think it came out pretty damn good uh, It's pretty nice I like the texture of it there's not too many as you can see linings on it uh, for the z-axis points um, it actually looks worse on camera believe it or not but when you're actually holding it in your hand it looks pretty damn good uh, one cool thing about the support settings that I had on there if you notice this part right here this is actually a support if you look at it from the top this piece right here that's actually supposed to come off and by making the density a little bit lighter I mean I literally just am pulling this bad boy out there it is there's a support that came out so it's pretty good I can't complain about it um, there's one more support right here I'll show you really quick this part right here is supposed to stop right there that's actually the support down there so if I just go ahead and grab it you know it's right there and I'm, used, I'm doing this with one hand, by the way, because I'm holding the camera with the other one. But that's how easy it came out. And if you look inside, I mean, I just got to clean it up a little bit, but it's not bad. You got to admit. There it is. You just got to clean it off. And it's smooth as hell inside, so... That's one cool feature. I mean, I got to do a little bit of cleaning, take the, uh, the raft or the brim off and things like that. But yeah, this is great. I mean, I'm still working on trying to get my support uh, features uh, perfect. Uh, I did have a imperfection right there because the support didn't uh, hold it that well. Sorry about the camera today, guys. I don't know what the hell is going on with it maybe it's just the lighting I don't know but if you notice right there and black doesn't help either but I'm gonna have to clean that off a little bit but besides that all in all I think the print came out pretty good so that's what my prints look like at the end that's it for this video guys this is my um, basic settings or my start off 
point, I guess you can say, for all my prints. And it took me about three months to get here. Um, so that's a pretty long time. Um, the reason I'm doing this video now compared to before and why I didn't go too much into detail, like I said, after this, my next video will be on Kira advanced settings. And those are going to be roughly around four to five videos. I'm going to go in depth of every single feature that is offered here, for example. I'm going to go over line width, wall line width, outer wall line width. I'll go over all that with you, and then you can make up your mind what features you need to do your prints. Um, on the future videos, these numbers will be a little off, so do, please don't go by those. Uh, these are my actual settings. So if you want to start off with this, do a test print, see if it works for you, uh, you can go from there. Um, besides that, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it uh, below. Um, if you like it, you don't like it, uh, like I always said, it's not a big concern to me. Uh, if you want to see more content, go ahead and subscribe. That is the only thing I would tell you to do is if you if you are interested in my videos if not then uh i hope you enjoyed this one <laughs> and like always guys good luck and happy printing